What is up, y'all? Welcome to the Social Sig vlog. It is currently Thursday, August 17th, and uh, things are cooking. Uh, feeling really um, busy lately. Um, that's pretty much why I hadn't vlogged in the last two weeks. I'm so occupied with uh, uh, just life and then just also uh, booking for this fall, doing... Um, marketing for the turner hall show on next friday already which is crazy it's already here um and tickets are online still if you guys are interested in coming it's going to be absolutely incredible and all local bill at turner hall and just kind of an end of the summer bash and um it's going to be very memorable i'm so excited um really really want to pack the place out so doing a few like campaigns um and doing uh did a text message campaign i'm about to do an instagram message campaign today um and just busy 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 with messaging and um booking and then um yeah just live doing shows i was just in let's see here i don't think i i vlogged before the i think high noon show about two weeks ago um that was like August 4th already, or August 3rd. It feels so not long ago, but it's already like uh, over like two weeks ago. Um, but the High Noon show was super fun. Uh, really cool to play the High Noon in Madison again. It was kind of nostalgic because we played there like the same exact day last year. And it's kind of cool to feel how time has changed that way. Um, Oh, excuse me. And then um, did a show with Newski over in um, by Viroqua. It was kind of like a backyard uh, show. I did a solo set there. I just played the Riverwalk yesterday for a busking event. That was super chill. Played for three hours. My fingers felt like they were going to fall off at the end, but it was super fun. There was a group of like six or seven people that were just hanging out literally the whole three hours, which was super cool. And we were just like kicking it. Um, and then lots of people passing by with traffic that way. Um, and uh, I also got some new merch recently. So I put in a big t-shirt order. I fully uh, went fresh out of all the t-shirts uh, as of like last week. So it was kind of perfect timing. But I got a pink social sig shirt. I also have these in gray and a bunch of different sizes. And then I do have the black hoodies with the white text um available as well now so really stoked about these and i didn't even realize but the barbie movie just came out too so kind of the perfect shirt for uh the barbie movie i guess if you're into that so that's kind of fun um yeah man just so busy lately uh it's been really good though it's feeling like uh, still getting into a routine um being full-time social sig um my girlfriend has fully moved in now so it's been actually really really solid lately it's been really great um and tentatively planning for like um well still planning like the booking the east coast tour gonna have the full band or at least a three-piece band the first half i just got eli a bug moment confirmed for that to play bass still looking for a drummer and then the second half my girlfriend is meeting uh, me out in new york for my cousin's wedding and then we're gonna head back as doing solo sets through New York, Boston, uh, Cincinnati, Louisville, Chicago. Um, but right now it's basically September 26th is the first date in Milwaukee. Um, it's kind of like a send off date, I guess. And then all the way till uh, October 12th in uh, the Raven Room in Chicago. So really, really looking forward to this run. I'm putting it together all myself, which has been a lot of work, but um, it's been, uh, yeah, just kind of figuring it out. I've been getting a lot better at booking. And, uh, geez, I think I'm a little stuffed up. Um, I woke up with a headache this morning. I slept awful last night, which usually doesn't happen. But um, Milwaukee, Milwaukee to the city, September 26th. Chicago at Book Club, September 27th. You can find all these dates on my website. But Grand Rapids, Fort Wayne, those, all of those uh, four shows are confirmed. Um, and then Columbus, I have a hold for this place called Double Happiness, which is like this Asian restaurant, but they do shows there and they, um, uh, the deal seemed kind of weird. It was like $350 up front. I'm still working that out, but I have a bill confirmed. Um, so we'll see. 
Uh, Cleveland confirmed. Uh, Pittsburgh, I have a hold for, which basically means they're holding the date for us. Um, it's kind of like a little bit out of Pittsburgh. Diet Light, my buddies, just played this venue. It's the local 724. It's this tiny venue in like Beaver Falls. Um, so not the most ideal, but Pittsburgh is pretty tough to book. Um, and Washington, D.C. still got to find a spot. I got a full bill confirmed. Philly, I have been talking or trying to talk to this DIY venue. Philly and Pittsburgh both have been super tough to book. Full bill confirmed for that. Um, so meaning like a lot of people have been asking, like, how do I go about booking? And basically what I do is I surf flyers on Instagram and I have this whole spreadsheet of bands, people in each state and city and um, just on Instagram, um, just finding these bands and DMing them if like and saying like, hey, I'm coming through Washington, D.C. on Tuesday, October 3rd. Would you be interested in joining this bill? And it's either yes or no. If it's yes, great. And then once I have like two local bands um, confirmed for that day, I have this email where I send to the venue and be like, um, hey, this is who we are. And this is a uh, um, I have a full bill ready and confirmed, ready to go. Um, would you guys be available to um, book? Uh, can we book you on this date? So um, and it's a yes or a no for that and a lot of follow-ups and no replies uh, but it feels so good when a venue <laughs> responds to you and that's and they say yes so it's been uh, kind of like fishing like you're casting your bait out there and um, all the yeses like it's a lot of work and a lot of no's and no replies and no responses but like once somebody says yes it feels so good um, New York, then I'm trying to do a so far sound set on that Saturday, October 7th. All right, did I say New York? I have New York confirmed for October 5th. My cousin's wedding is on the 6th. I want to do another so far sounds set um, with in New York on the 7th. Boston, I have confirmed for Sunday. Um, Cincinnati, I just got word from the Mockbee that they'd be down to host us. And... Um, Louisville, I still have not even found a band. Louisville, I feel like their music scene is very, very hard to get a hold of. Not a whole lot of bands in Louisville, I feel. Uh, and then Chicago at the Raven Room on the 12th. And then there was a 13th show at the Coopers, but that actually got moved to in Milwaukee, and that got moved to the 20th of October. So steadily booking into December here, but uh, putting together a Southwest tour for December, um, I think I'm just going to do a solo run with, uh, me and my girlfriend, honestly, and just, um, booking these shows. I want to hit Chattanooga. I want to go to Dallas. I want to go to Austin and just kind of, I want to go to Georgia. Um, so kind of just trying to be, uh, in all the warm places, uh, as much as possible for that. And then let's see. Yeah. And then me and my girlfriend are just talking about it in the car too. Um, really, really pumped to do this, but we're looking at maybe doing a June um, for like a month, a month and a half, doing like a down, um, down south to the west, and then going all the way up California into Canada for a little, or not Canada actually, so like Portland, Seattle, and then headed back uh, through like Denver and like, do a lot of camping and doing a lot of shows, selling a lot of merch, doing like a huge tour like in June. So really, really stoked for that. I think that'd be really fun and really awesome. And then also in spring, I'm planning on doing like another South tour, um, hopefully doing South by Southwest, uh, March 11th to March 18th. I don't know if any of this is like interesting to anybody out there, but um, yeah, lots of just planning ahead. Um, you can never be um too far out in the booking world um is what my friend kit told me um yeah uh i guess just uh really really excited for the turner hall show um i'm having anthony kopchinski on the keys um i think only for three or four songs um and it was potentially going to be the full set but um man this date just crept up so fast and um, I really just want to have a nailed down set and just have everything feel good. 
um and uh yeah it's just gonna be um pure pure social sig and i think after this day is gonna be a, a big new chapter and i'm really excited for also it's a little nerve-wracking just not knowing what to expect but it's gonna be really great uh austin uh my bassist is uh kind of focusing a little bit more on blacktop and his work um after this turner show so um kind of uh just kind of figuring out like if uh trying to find another basis for a lot of these shows but also maybe pivoting to a lot more solo sets for these bigger runs because kai and jacob both have jobs as well and um you know it's i'm i want to do this so um i'm really fortunate that i'm able to do these solo sets but as, it is so fun to do like the full band but it's just so hard with people's schedules um so it's tough, but um, making it work until the day that um, I can fully afford to have a full band out, like who is full time. And um, that's kind of the dream. And my big goal for this next year, people have been asking is um, like, what's your big goal for this next year or so? And a big one that comes to mind is I just want to break even financially on like my rent, food, um, just everything, um, just break even and not lose any money, not save any money. Um, hold, but saving money would be freaking awesome. Like that'd be a, a, a bonus goal, but, um, that's kind of my big goal. Um, I'd love to keep growing my Patreon. So the Patreon is live. Um, it's a monthly subscription service. I'm thinking about taking all of my Patreon money and just putting that all into marketing. So whatever you guys push, um, or pay on the patreon um, monthly is what i'm going to put in the marketing for social sig um, i think that'd be a really cool idea um, until it gets to a point so if you guys are interested in supporting the project and marketing um not for sure yet but um if you're just interested in supporting right now more details to come i guess um but there uh, there will be a link in the bio for that and um yeah things are moving Things are really moving fast, and um, yeah, things are really great. Uh, honestly, can't complain. I'm feeling healthy and feeling good, and hope the same for you guys. And um, also, I just turned 25 the other day. Uh, I kind of forgot about that, but um, I turned 25 on August 10th. That was really great. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. Um, I had a great day. I went to the state fair with Sheila. And uh, then we got dinner at Dan Dan with my parents. And then uh, I think we just went to bed, honestly. Um, I was pretty pooped from the state fair and um, just been so busy lately. I'm getting some flyers uh, tomorrow to hang around town for the Turner show. Um, and um, yeah, I guess just really looking for the Turner show, forward to it. Also, I'm going to New York on August 26th and August 27th um, after the, literally the morning after the Turner show. Um, I bought a plane ticket there and back uh, for the weekend because it's my buddy's buddy, Conrad, is having an album release party. And um, I've listened to some of his music and producing work that he's done before. And um, I think it'd be a really cool opportunity to go. My buddy was like, dude, you should go if you can. And so I booked a ticket. I'm going to the release show. Hopefully going to meet a lot of cool people, make some cool connections. And that's Saturday night. And my plan for that is honestly just hanging out and meeting some cool people. And um, also, if people are located in New York, I'm going to kind of pitch the October 5th show uh, in Manhattan. So um, hopefully someone uh, can come out for that. And um, we'll have a good time, I guess. So... All right, I think that's all I want to talk about. Um, and I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Happy end of summer. Um, man, yesterday too was just a beautiful day. And um, hoping the same for today. I'm going to work on a little bit more booking today. And like I said, that I don't know if I said this, but the Instagram message campaign, which takes out a lot of energy, honestly. It's just like sending a, a message to um, people I think would be interested in coming to the show and basically just responding and having a conversation afterwards. I did it with text messages like two weeks ago and it takes a lot of energy and 
Um, it's really, really great to catch up with people, but it's a, it is a lot of work and, um, but it's fun. It's always so uh, affirming too. If people can't make the show and they're like, yo, I'll be man in spirit. Let me know when the next one is. And, um, yeah, this is very guerrilla marketing, uh, as DIY as it gets. I just did a show with new ski in Viroqua the other day. And um, I thought it was going to be him and his full band, but his bass player got COVID. So it was just me and him driving out two hours to Viroqua. And uh, yeah, it was super freaking fun. It was just a field day for me. I was just taking notes and he's literally just slogging it is his word. He's just like, just, uh, just doing it, you know, like his DIY as it gets, like doing his own merch, running it, booking, and it's pretty incredible, like, what he's doing full-time, and um, also just kind of makes me, like, think about, like, what I would do differently, and what I would do, and um, it's just, uh, he's a super cool dude to know and get to know, so uh, shout out Newski, Brett Newski, uh, really, really awesome fella, and um, now my friend, which is really, really insane, so um yeah just kind of still cooking in the the milwaukee music scene here and um yeah i'm excited for the future all right i feel like i was rambling a lot this one but um love you guys so much really hope to see you guys soon um and happy august and um yeah uh see you guys at turner hall august 25th uh tickets are online right now tickets are moving get them before they sell out and Say hello to uh, Ella, my girlfriend's aunt's dog that we're uh, dog sitting for the, the next few days. She's a very cute poodle. All right, bye.